it's Katie from Inspired Video Marketing. I am going to share with you something that is kind of like super simple and I it's one of those things that you should know and you know probably everyone assumes you know so nobody actually says it. For the longest time when I posted blogs I would post them like this where I had my title and when you were on the inside I'd put my main picture right here and I'd do my blog and it'd be great so cool and then I would go all right we're posted let's copy this bring it into so either buffer Facebook itself and then what is this what is this where is this picture this super pretty picture that I stuck right here, right in the middle of the blog, it's not showing up when I try to post to my posting software or posting straight to Facebook. So it's trying to fetch the preview, but it's just not finding it and I'm stuck with things that are not how I want to represent my blog. Or yeah, okay, that's cool, but if I'm posting this every single time for my blog, it's going to get very boring. Who wants to click on something that's not compelling? So this solution is simple if, and so I use WordPress, I'm sure it works it, depending on whatever else you're using, it's probably along the same lines, but this is where my problem resides. So I've got my picture in the post, but what I need to do is go down to where it shows featured image. And I need to set my featured image, so let's let me check, make sure this is web size. Oh, that looks pretty small. 41 kilobytes, that's fine. And I'm going to, extra bonus tip right here, heard it from some SEO gurus. When you are posting images into your blogs, make sure you name them relevant names. And if you can get keywords into them, then apparently it does make somewhat of a difference. So here we've got, computer let's just call it editing setup I don't know if there's any let's do computer video editing because then maybe we get a little bit of that and I was told to use dashes instead of underscores so I'm just doing that and then we're going to drag that and drop that into I don't I think I want to caption alt text. Not exactly. I'm not a whiz. I'm not a website whiz. But here we go. Made it my featured image. Now I don't want it showing up twice, so I'm going to delete this here, and I'm going to update this blog. Okay. Now we're going to view the post. So now what you're seeing is this picture is sitting above the title. Yay! Okay, give it time because the internet's had to do its little thingy and I don't know, crawl. What? what I don't know what the lingo is, but I had to wait. <laughs> Whatever. Here it is. Now my featured image is showing up. So when I post this blog, I will get this beautiful image and then you can see my title. And that is how you can get a, an image with your blog if one is not showing up. So if you came to this video looking for solutions and it wasn't because you didn't have your featured image set, there is another solution that I'm just gonna pop in here and that is going into the Facebook debugger, Facebook for developers, and you plug in the URL. And I guess by doing that, it forces Facebook to crawl your page and find the images. And um, I will leave some links to some better tutorials if this is actually what you needed. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.